The comments and views expressed on The More Show are those of the people that make them and do not necessarily reflect the view of Kevin Moore, The More Show, or this radio station and its affiliate or sponsors. This show is for entertainment purposes only. Broadcasting from Amsterdam and across the world online, you're now watching The More Show and I'm your host, Kevin Moore. For the next hour, I'll be covering subjects that will open up your mind and provide you with information you may have never heard before. Now on today's show, I'm about to be joined with my guest, Jody Hershey. Now Jody graduated from the University of Miami with a BA in education. Now her expertise is in holistic education for adults and children. Now she's the author of Thoughts to Consider with Love and her latest book, The Call of the Day. Jody Hershey, welcome to the show. Thank you. So glad to be here with you. Thank you for coming on. Uh, this is uh, your second book. It is. Second it book. Is. Yep. I wrote uh, another book uh, several years ago called Thoughts to Consider with Love. Seven year gap between this book and the last. Okay, and I believe I'm potentially your first interview no I've, I've had quite a few interviews up to now so yes i've had interviews <laughs> okay well that's probably good ten, that's good yeah i'm probably thinking because i've not seen any past interviews on youtube yet that's why i'm thinking oh i must be the first one but yes. no th you, you've had interviews with others that don't that, that, that have different platforms right okay i've got you i've got you exactly yeah yes. yeah Okay, um, well, we were just chatting off air. I'm glad we did, actually. Um, this book does seem to be coming at the right time right now with all the changes going on in the world, and there is so many. First of all, why did you write The Call of the Day? I wrote it because I felt, well, intuitively I knew it was time that we all need to start changing our lives and what the overall meaning is of this time period, which is really about all of us going into our own personal selves and discovering who our self, soul self is so that we can bring forth more a, a peaceful, more of a peaceful world. It's time for us individually and collectively to start to change in a good way to qualify our lives well that's interesting because myself and, and yourself you know we don't have the uh, means to um you know approach political leaders and even if we did it doesn't mean whether their our message would resonate of peace at all um so really all we're left with is ourselves and i think that's Correct. quite um important what you've said that actually if we and i'm going to stretch your words now if we came from more love in our lives and that was a uh, uh, had a direct effect on other people potentially could that ripple out to even more absolutely that that's the whole thing it's it's about us individually finding the love within ourselves and to do the work that we've been called to do whatever it is and be happy within ourselves and loving so that whatever we're doing we're being an example to the next person and our love and what the happiness we're getting from the way we are living our lives does, re you know, other people do pick up that energy and they'll go, wow, why, what's going on with you? Yeah. So, yeah. That's so true. And, and how did you get to that place? Why, why come to that place for you? Because I feel it's imperative to do that. I think we've had enough discord in our lives, inner and outer, that in order for ourselves and the world to be in a better place, this time period, which is the fourth frequency, is about finding your true self. And it's, it's all about love and compassion for love and self. Okay, great. So, yeah. All of us are seeing what's going on in the world, and we all are individually responsible for our own lives to make them the best that they can be and have them be our, our way of life is 
to come from compassion for others, then the world starts changing little bit by little bit. We may not see it, you know, all at once because it's not an all at once thing, but we individually will see it through the work that we do with ourselves, which is finding your true place within yourself. So is this book for a person that's had a an awakened experience that they've realized, oh gosh, I'm probably more than my body and my consciousness is maybe not even in my body in a sense and I'm, I'm my consciousness, I'm not my body. Is that is the book for that type of person? That's already, yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. yeah, it is. But you don't have to already be there. It It's a book that also explains to you what's our ego self, what's our true soul self, you know, what's going on in the world, you know, how you can look at things differently. It has a few exercises to do to come into what it is your soul is looking for. And I, I think it's for everybody who ha, ha, has an open mind. Yeah. Um, and if you're watching this right now, you have that open mind and you've probably gone through a bit more of an awakening process than you would like to admit, some of you, or for some of you, uh, this is just re-remembering more of who you are. So that's great. Um, where did the information for you come from? Uh, I channel the information. Oh, I like you already. Um, okay. <laughs> and and who are you channeling? Or is it your higher self, your, something else? Well, it's the higher self is the connection to the higher source. So first we have to get to the place where I am more than my ego and my outer self then we can start to recognize that we have a higher self or a soul self. And through getting quiet, we can access universal information because that information is already programmed into our ourselves. It's already there. We just have to wake it up. Absolutely. Tell me your process of channeling then. How often do you do it as well? It, it, you know, it just depends. I don't have a, a structure if I'm writing and it'll come through that at different periods. Um, it'll come through workshops. I'll say, what is it that people need? And, you know, it starts, it starts to come through. So it's, I've been doing this a long time and it's really through my intuition and higher self that connects to the universal source of all that is. But that's the way that the new paradigm of channeling seems to be happening through the higher yeah. self. It doesn't seem to be, uh, it's called this or it's called that. Um, it's no more separation for a lot of people. It's this, it's shifting. Correct. There, there. It isn't a time of separation at all. It's about inclusiveness, not exclusiveness. So it's about being, you know, everybody's welcome. Not just, oh, our, our group is this, this, and that. It's not about that, that anymore. It's not about social climbing or, you know, it's about truly living in the now into what you are, sharing who you are, being who you are, enjoying who you are, and have other people feel open and welcome enough to share who they are with you. Okay, okay. Um, I really want to get into the book and we are kind of getting into the book here just with the channeling I mean does it ever say to you, to you through your higher self that there's a conscious group behind this or you know are you even bothered of going down that road and it's more of the case of it's coming through with with, with no questioning of really is that a separate consciousness group at the background or whatever it just comes through and you let it flow and you're not you're more interested in what it's got in the in the quality of the content not the uh the orchestra in the background yeah right yeah i i it's not about groups the only thing about groups that i would say is important is that we all have a touchstone somebody who we can relate to to and share our new way of thinking with. So if you decide to have people over and you have groups that just discuss this type of thing, that's fine. It, but it's not 
you can't come. You know, everybody's welcome. And it just depends on how you want to work with it. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. what I'm, what I get, you're able to get as well. Right. It's just being <laughs> quiet enough to access your own information. That's a very important part as well. Uh, you may be a teacher. I don't know if you like that yes. word or not, right? But you empower others to become their own teacher from that space that you just said there as well, that we all have that ability to tune in. Correct. Right. We all do. It's there. It's just getting quiet enough to start to look at yourself and your feelings and ask, what is it I'm supposed to see in this message? Right. You know, what is, you know, and through time, the more you go quiet and ask your higher source to talk to you, you know, and it might not happen the first time, second time, whatever, just keep doing it. And you'll, if you're quiet enough, you'll start to access it. Yeah. Yeah. So, it, yeah. so true. So true. Um, and all answers lie within. I always say that all answers lie within. But yet, you know, it is nice to get a psychic reading with someone now and then and to get help from other people because, you know, we do Absolutely. have our, some of us are not that, we do have our own blockages and the, the filter ourselves is not always that clear. To get to the state that you've got to, right, that's time served, that's, that's uh, the choice, that's, um, you know, it takes time to be able to be clear. I think it does anyway. Oh, it absolutely does. And, you know, I get readings myself at different times because right. it's important for it. For me, it's important to hear what somebody else sees and, and is feeling because I need to know if I'm receiving the right information. You know, not it's just more of like, OK, so I'm on the right path. You know, I don't I, I do, yeah. you know, back it up. Yeah. If you know what I'm saying. Oh, I know exactly what you're saying. You're saying, yeah, uh, yeah, I do. Uh, so, so good to hear. Um, very interesting. How long have you been on this path for? 30 years. 30 years. <laughs> okay. I was going to say that that's not just a blip in it, <laughs> but 30 years. Uh, yeah. Wow. And so, um, here, here, what's, let me tell you what's interesting about this time period. Like for me and the, the spiritual group or whatever they are ha that have been on this path for a long time to be able to get here and be able to share what we've known. Um, saying is, and what I, I am seeing is we are able, people who haven't done that amount of work, because of the frequency shift and times moving faster, we are able to, once we open up to it, we're able to access the information much, much faster. So in other words, if you just started on your path, what took me 30 years will take you, it could take you a year. Yeah. Do you wow. know what I'm saying? It can go Man. that fast. For us, we had to, you know, for people that I know, we had to go through a lot of changes and where the world wasn't ready for this kind of change either. Now it's, it's the world is calling out going, my God, what is going on? So that's, what's great about people that are just beginning as well. You have to be open, but you can get the information faster than we did. That's so interesting, Jody. And also I think, do you think that's because there's a different energy in the planet right now? And yeah. Yeah. And that's changed. Yeah, and that's probably why some channelers don't go down so deep as they used to, to trance mm -hmm. state. There are those on this planet that still do, but that's an old paradigm. It's just as needed as it was when they first started, and I'm not saying they're not needed. I'm saying, as an interviewer, I've seen a paradigm shift, and I can't ignore that, because that's I've had right. all sorts of channelers on, young and old, and they're, you're right, uh, they are they are coming from that space that you just described. So uh, that's a th thank you for that. That's, that's really beautiful. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So what we're saying as well um, in the call of the day is that um, when you are living your calling, uh, you are a, a, more of a light to the world as well. But what about someone that's living their calling, that's working in an industry where some people may put their their nose down a bit but it's not hurting anyone it's you know it's providing a service right um, what I'm saying is that 
it's not all about um, the spiritual community and, you know, and, and, and becoming, you know, um, something that's just of a, you know, like, like a hidden, like a healer, hands on healer or a card reader or something yeah, else. No. no, no. I mean, we still need everything that's in this uh, re reality and, and, and Absolutely. they are still a call, you know, they are still the call of the day for them, isn't it? Yes, of course it is. And, and again, you go back to, you know, being the example you know, yes, we're all around people that don't get it or they may not have a good attitude. So it's it's important for us to, on a daily basis, just try and go within for a little while and be centered within so that you can go into a situation and watch it more than getting involved in it and disturbed by it. You know, you can watch it and comment from a higher place. And if you don't want to come from a higher place or you feel you can't, you go into neutral and you listen. You know, you just listen. So you can detach yourself from crazy. It ju You just have to bring yourself to that space, you know, every morning when you get up or, you know, whatever you need to put you in that focus. It's a focus. Yeah, yeah, okay, absolutely. So what you're saying is, you know, um enjoy this 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 matrix that we live in enjoy the physical reality and all that it's got to offer it's so important to be here right now in this very moment whatever you're doing yeah. and 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 it's and you know in, enjoy what the world has to offer but just be in alignment with yourself that what you're doing is your highest calling exactly or or you're yeah. heading you're heading towards your highest calling what you may be doing right yeah. now is not what you really want to do but you're making taking the steps forward to something even better that you would enjoy doing part-time maybe you got it that's that's what it's all about no you know that you've got the whole thing okay well that's the end of the interview i want to thank you so much for joining <laughs> us <laughs> yeah okay but it's difficult to get to that point as well and we're going to get into that just before we do let's just remind ourselves some of the esoteric stuff here as well that you know you see that um earth right now is in the fourth dimension and that we are heading towards the fifth dimension uh, how what is the difference between the two and how will we know that we've gone from one to the other and is, is it that important well, the most important part is that we're living in third dimension now and we've shifted planetary, the energy on the planet shifted to fourth dimension or is in the process of shifting frequencies. So for us, time is speeding up and we're, we're feeling that. So it's important for us to start looking at ourselves, which is part of the fourth dimension. The fourth dimension, in a sense, is Christ consciousness, meaning, that's not religious, meaning that we're asked to come from compassion and love right now, because that's what he stood for. So it's not, you know, you know, Jesus or Christ is coming. It is, it's a, it's a presence of being, and we're all called to find our compassion and to open up to being of service to others and our planet we need to start taking care of things it's just been you know i don't even know what to say about it. it you know it's just been a mess and it's time for all of us to wake up that's what part of this election's about you know nobody knows what's the outcome you know if, if trump gets in it's gonna be mayhem and if hillary gets in who knows how the Trump people are going to react. But what's happening is people want to change. They want to change. They're feeling a change. Even the angry, so, even the angry people, it's all, it's all to do with change. It is. Yeah. 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 So, you know, it's, you really have to be present with yourself so that you can see that this is, third dimensional thinking it's on its way out it could be messy but we need to just stay within our positive thought process share time with people that are in a positive thought process and stay focused 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 the fourth dimension is about getting to that place 
that's going to take us some time. Okay, so we're, but it will be a lot of aha moments where you'll go, wow, wow, that's really cool. That really, you know, that's shifted. So. You're right. Fifth, well, you, you, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and so when you've personally gotten to, you've, you've shifted your, your perspective and, and you're coming from love and compassion and you're seeing things in a different way, you will start to experience things from the fifth dimension. Okay, and that fifth dimension is more about I know who I am, I'm speaking who I am, and then I'm going to manifest what is needed to be. You know, it's not, it's not like I'm going to manifest a car. It means I'm going to manifest uh, peace. And it may be just within the people I know. But just by putting out that, that peaceful statement, you're creating it. So it, it's very much about the individual learning about it, their selves, coming from their intuition. But it's also about sharing yourself with the rest of the world as much as you can. Yeah, and, and that can that can still be applied to someone that's um, maybe got a controversial type of talk show, maybe. Yeah. If, if they're doing what they love, then they they are making other people happy. It you know, or it may be um, someone that's um, God, you, 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 whatever the job is, you know, working for McDonald's security guard, whatever it is. As long as you're yeah. doing something that you really enjoy, um, exactly. You know, that's what's important. But, you know, some people may say, well, yeah, but the, 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 the kind of examples that you're putting across for the world that you'd like to see, well, no one would do in the main main jobs because would they really enjoy and want to do those type of jobs? And I think they would still. I think for some people but, they would. You know, I think what how you answer that is that people know everything that they are is important. It doesn't matter if you clean houses or sweep the floor or you're a chimney sweet or, you know, or you're a president. It doesn't matter. Everything applies to everybody. You know, there, it's not selective. You know, it's an, it includes everybody. The fourth dimension is all about everybody. But, We're but, inclusive. But in different cultures, like the Asian culture, for example, and I've spent time in yeah. Asia, it's very much... Um, what you have and the status that you're at that that is yeah. the um on on the lips of a lot of mothers and um it's really bad <laughs> in one sense um but that's what it's like you know and i think to myself christ uh, are they ever going to have a conscious shift <laughs> is it the entire planet i mean is it really everyone because i'm just saying different cultures have different ways of looking upon these things absolutely you know they'll they'll come to it when it's their time to come to it. Do you know what I'm saying? We can't project on somebody else. You have to be like me. No. All I'm saying is everybody possesses this information. All we have to do is tap into it. But you have a choice. You can choose to look at it or you don't. And if you don't, you stay in that consciousness. But the more of us being in our higher consciousness changes the vibration of what's going on around us. So let's say you go to China and, and your vibration is like that. They may not get it, but they get something. They get something. They do get something. They, they do. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it may be just a little thing you do that went, made them sit back and go, ah, okay. You know, just a little bit. So it does – it. Just you being there, your consciousness shifts some sort of the energy that they're in. Yeah, yeah. And I think even if um, a small portion of the planet came from the space that this book talks about, you know, it really could make a, a, a big impact. And um, yes. you know, and I think that's probably what comes through a lot of channelers nowadays, just most recently, mm -hmm. is that if the spiritual community came more together 
uh, it would it would be stronger. Uh, and I don't mean stronger mm. to take on an army. I just mean, you know, um, the energy, the energy. Yes, the energy would be stronger. Mm. But, you know, even people in the spiritual community, they're still human beings having a human experience, you know, getting it yeah. wrong, messing up, learning from it, you know, Absolutely. and everything else. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. no judgments. No. And, and coming from a spiritual place, you have to go back and look at yourself and say, what, what, what am I missing here? What in myself am I not seeing? Am I judging? Am I, you know, discriminating? Am I, you know, you have to, you always have to clarify yourself. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care how enlightened you are. You have to, you have to clarify your, your soul and your diamond and polish it and, you know, that kind of thing. It's, it's, but we all have it. Yeah. Yeah. And do not judge what it is that, no, not too much. Do not judge it too much. If, if you've got a calling, don't rip it to pieces. As long as it's not hurting anyone else or yourself. Yeah. Exactly. Then if it turns you on to do it and it's exciting and, you know, you're going to meet some wonderful people from doing it as well. It's uh, better than trying to meet people for, uh, on, on an online uh, dating site. <laughs> Trust me, yeah. you meet yeah. the right people. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. You, it, and what happens is the synchronicity starts to happen. Oh, God. You start oh, to God. find people, you know. Oh, God, All you yeah. have to do is sync it at some point and it starts to manifest. So when is... you're in the fourth dimension, you'll see that a lot. Isn't that surprising as people enter into the fourth dimension, you know, and, be, you know, that, that I call it meeting your tribe sometimes, right? Mm -hmm. But it's also yeah. you're bumping into other pe like-minded people and it's a beautiful thing. And, um, yeah, yeah I, I see it more and more and it's like, okay, there's something in this. <laughs> this <Yeah>. stuff works. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, 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 it really turns you on, if you want to say that. You know, it it's does. like, wow, this is just so wonderful that this happened. And, you know, you go on with that feeling for a while and and then, you know, nothing happens and then it comes again and you're going, wow, I'm seeing this a little more often, you know. And it's it's showing you that it all the possibilities that are out there. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And a, a beautiful thing in your book as well, it says um, intuition is God's imprint on the soul. I mean, you've got a whole chapter on intuition and we're not going to, you know, we've, this this interview is going so quick anyway. But I think that's so true. Um, I cannot agree with you more than following your intuition. I'm not saying, as I do on previous interviews, like a broken record, that you shouldn't engage the mental side as well i'm saying engage both engage the intuition engage the mental the engage, engage the, the brain and together you'll get the best result you really will yeah absolutely it's it's about the, the whole it's all of it and what we do with it it's hard though for some people uh in different genres of of work uh, to move out of ego and to get yeah. to their truth self, because the ego just serve a purpose in entertainment. I've got to say that in some respects, um, mm -hmm. but maybe entertainment might be different in the future. So maybe I'm just kidding myself that it, it, it's it's that needed. But it does cause a few issues sometimes. The ego can. Yeah. Oh yeah. But what what happens is then you. Ask yourself, am I coming from my ego or am I coming from my higher self? You know, you have to keep asking yourself these questions. You know, and yet we're, we're in an egotistical world. Listen, that we've all run our lives by our ego and we've defined ourselves through our ego. So what the fourth dimension is saying, do not define yourself by the ego. You are the soul. You are this beautiful person inside, regardless of what you see or whatever, and start to look from the soul, the higher self, and the universal source when you can. Yes, you need your ego. And I say, you need the ego because it helps you, you know, man maneuver in this world. I mean, you know, you need it. <clears throat> However, you can be aware of when you go into the ego and it's like, you know, I'm 
I'm in an egotistical point of view. You know, it's like saying, you know, oh, my book is fabulous. I'm a writer. Or it says, great, I'm of service to somebody. You know, so it's a, it's a whole different thing. And a lot of people don't agree with it, but it doesn't matter. It, what matters is what soul, what I've done for somebody else. So it's a different point of view. Oh, some great stuff here. You know, you say it's about life is about finding your own personal truth than having the courage to live within the integrity, integrity of it. I see that with a lot of people that when they found their truth, now sometimes when they found their truth, it may mean doing something much bigger than they think they're capable of doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because it needs a lot of resources. Um, but that shouldn't put you off. And also, you know, don't think that it makes you better than anybody else. Just because you're doing something on a larger scale is no difference to the person doing it as a mother being of service to their That's kid right. or, uh, you, you know, helping the next door neighbor and, you know, knowing that you're being of service by being, by doing that because you want to help that soul. Yeah. So it's all yeah. equal. It is all equal. And fourth dimensions about e all equal. It's not, you know, that's what I think, you know, this election just throws people that I know because it's like, is this where we really are? Are we back to discriminating? Are we oh, back to God. building a wall? Oh. Are we back to women can't have this? I mean, that is very sad. You know, and but then maybe that's needed to shine a light on it for it to be made aware of. Because if Trump wasn't doing these things, then who would right. who is going to step up in the muck? Who knows what's in in his deeper, uh, you know, acacia records? You know, or, or, or sorry, but in his records <laughs> of why he chose to come here, who knows? There may be some big things that he's that he's you know that he's meant to do. Then again, well, I think he, yeah, it, it's. It's an example. You know, it, it says, do I want this? Do I not want this? It's another thing. It's, it, and it is, you know, we're, we're breaking down and we have to break down. So who's to say it's not the right breakdown? You know, I can't judge that. You know, it's just, it's like, wow, okay. So, so, so um, obviously there's, there's a lot of healing going on here still that needs to be done. Um, Absolutely. And, and, this, and, and, I, and I think this could all be part of the shift that you're talking about because you can't yeah. just go from one to the other without without healing the the, the basis of it first of oh, all no it, it has to break down to come too you know it's just the way it is it is upsetting to see the world as it is for some sensitive people and really if you can just be in tune and doing what you love to do you, exactly. you, you're making the difference that's that's the exactly. yeah that's the solution that is the solution and you continue to do it no matter what's falling down around you you still stay on focus and stay true to yourself and be of service and radiate the love out that you do have and right there you're making a difference and and people may say well yeah but that's not gonna save me and my family from you know coming in harm's way from any great change well there's not a lot else you can do in one respect except to try to make the world better in your own um exactly. place yeah i yeah. think yeah yeah and it, you know you you know whatever change is going to happen i think people will be surprised as how many people want peace oh god yeah I mean, around the world, that's all, you know, we want peace. Yeah. We hate to see what's going on. You yeah. know, it's just, we're, we're more advanced than that. And we need to, that's why I say, we need to step out of our third dimensional thinking and start to open ourselves up to seeing things in different possibilities. How can we, how can we, um, what is the answer to you think? Or is there no answer to it? But how could we help bring some of the bigger religions together that's what needs to happen a little bit here as well there's well i might be wrong saying that i'm okay if i am right i'm just from my own perspective <laughs> it just feels mm -hmm. you know when we, we need to see the common threads in religion you know that's one of the problems as well that mine's the only yeah. truth yours is not well hang on you know some fundamental some actual uh, authentic um 
religious people, and I, I'm not talking about fundamental people, or, or you know, um, mm -hmm. would be okay with that space. Yeah. yeah, I mean, religion is again separateness. It's saying I'm better than you. So that would be a third dimensional thought and a e coming from an egotistical point of view. If you say I'm, for me, when I say I'm a spiritual being, it means I am, I believe in the higher spirit of things and that it is for everybody. And it's in, you know, it's having everybody love each other. I mean, I know that sounds whatever, fairy, fairy, but you know, we want to see more inclusiveness. And I think, again, with religion, it's being the example. You know, you have to step out and say, look, I love my higher power. I love it through G whatever it is, Jesus, Mohammed, but I'm not going to just be that. I, I'm going to be open because all of the religions talk about you know, helping the other person, to loving one another. They all talk about it. It's not just one religion. So it's that's part of the breakdown that's going to be taking place because... Mm -hmm. This is so true. It, yeah, it's, it's, it's too separate. You know, you can't, you can't make peace when you're separating yourself from somebody else. No, there is, um, as you say, in their religious texts, those particular words which talk about uh, you know loving loving mm -hmm. the, the brother but in a, in a sense uh, or, or your neighbor um, and um, mm -hmm. they may not be the same religion but um, yeah that doesn't mean that uh, you know that there's anything um, that you would stop you from getting you know from from wanting peace um, I, yeah I know we're a bit off tangent here from what the book is but it's still a big issue in this world right now really you know yeah, it is. Um, it's part of what's taking place it, I mean, it is yeah yeah you know I, don't know I mean we could go on and on the school <laughs> system need to change you know there's a lot of change that needs to take place and the best thing for us to do individually is work through our own stuff, come to our soul self, you know, radiate out who you really are and just keep doing it and be of service wherever you can. You know, and that doesn't mean you have to go join the Red Cross. It means open a door for somebody. You know, give them a smile. A smile is incredible. How people really, really like to, to see a smile on somebody else's face. Yeah, makes them happy. That's so. It's you know. That's so true. Yeah, that's, that's so it. true. And that's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, that's small makes somebody's day. You know, and then you you want to smile to somebody else because wow, that made me feel really good. Let me give it to somebody else. That's. I mean, it's that simple. Yes. Yes. It. It, it is. It is. And. Um, um, sometimes you have to go through a little bit of pain sometimes just to get to the point of, you know, uh, changing your direction or making sure you're in tune with what you love to do. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, it's not always, oh, I'll wake up it's, tomorrow. Yeah, and, no. no, it's not. You, it, it's work. Mm, because sometimes you know, we, we, we have lied to ourselves so much and gone with fear all the way along and uh -huh. it's got us to a real shitty place. And actually, yeah. we've just got to get ourselves out of there sometimes. That's, that's right. But, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying it's an easy job because if it was you know, anything worth it isn't easy. You don't just wake up and you are. You have to decide within yourself, you know what, I, it is time I look at some things that I haven't been real happy about. And how can I accomplish this? Or how can I come into acceptance of what it is? Yeah. You yeah. Know? So, so important. And um, But the more you do the work on yourself, the more you see, the more you get to enjoy, you know, because you're, you're going, wow. It goes back to that synchronicity and you go, wow, oh, my God, that's fabulous, you know. Mm. So it's, it's work. It's not easy. But it's worth it. I mean, it could be taking care of your parents. 
Um, you know, as yeah. they get older, it could be looking after someone with dementia. I mean, I'm just mentioning yeah. these things because sometimes it's not always pretty stuff. No, it's not pretty stuff. But it's finding within yourself, what's the best way I can deal with this? Mm-hmm. You know, how can I make this a little better? And, yeah. you know, you've yeah. got to be creative sometimes. And sometimes <laughs> yeah. you need to just sit down with yourself and say, you know what? It is what it is. I have to accept what it is. And, you know, I, I'm coming to a place of acceptance and I'm going to maybe go meditate for 10 minutes once a day to get me a little more centered. You know, finding a little something to give you peace. That's, you know? that's very important. The meditation part, which I don't do enough of at all, as he's sat here on the other side of the camera talking about how important it is. <laughs> um but no, it is. I know it is at a very deep level, yeah. and I must promise myself to do it some time soon. Yeah, or just take five minutes before you go to bed and just sit quietly. Oh, that's true, yeah. But yeah it doesn't have to be when you wake yeah. up, does it? No. Mm. no. No, I mean, the reason why the, the wake up in the morning, you know, they talk about that, is because it starts your day in a really beautiful way, you know, and you're, you're you've through what you've had in the morning, you're able to detach more from what the crazy is outside of you. So that's why the morning is important. But even if it's five minutes at night, do it. You know, I mean, just to be quiet and say, be grateful. Thank you. Thank you for this day. That's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. And, and another point, I mean, I, I know we're almost out of time here, but, um, I do come from this space. I try. I have tried to come from this space a lot more recently, and it's been the best space to come from. I can only highly recommend it, and that's flowing. And in your chapter here, um, well, I'm personifying your words a little bit, but if it doesn't flow, it doesn't go. It's a, that's part of a poem. Yeah. That's great. That's great. <laughs> so what we're saying there as well, let me just try to, try to chew your words up here a little bit, and you can tell me if I'm wrong, but... Yes, go with the call of the day or the call of what you're here to do. And that, that will change over life, of course it will. You may try something, it may not. It may have felt great to try it, but actually when you get there to the pinnacle of it, it's not what you want, but actually it leads you on to what you were supposed to do anyway, right? So um, so we're not, we're not saying don't choose and we're not saying don't do, don't walk. What you're saying is release once you've chosen, do what you need to do to get there, but just, you know... Do try to flow. Don't overthink it or drive yourself crazy with it. Just right. flow. Right. Yeah. And and also, you know, you let's just say a relationship. Maybe you've met somebody and you really, really like them, but something they're doing just doesn't fit with what you're thinking or feeling, and we tend to ignore that. So what I'm saying is you know this. And if it's not flowing, it's not working. So pay attention to what's going on. That kind of thing as well. I take a breath at that one because that's so true. Um, yeah, relationships are, are a massive um, place to ch- to practice flowing actually that could that doesn't have to be an intimate relationship that could be a relationship even at work i mean everything's a relationship yeah yeah if it's not flowing yeah 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 how 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 would you define not flowing with how would you define that okay so you have to feel what you're feeling you know you always get that little feeling inside where you go uh uh this doesn't feel right, but I really like him. I really like the job, but mm, something about it isn't working. So you know, you feel it, you know, you feel it. And then you pay attention to it. And, you know, if, if it's still not flowing, you're, you, it's a part of you may be in the wrong place, you know, and then you make a choice. You don't have to make the choice. There's no, I have to, you know, it's all okay, but it will be easier for you if mm. you come to understand mm. if it's not flowing, it's not going, it's not working. And, and our lives are meant to flow. Yes, we have challenges, but we're meant to stay with our, our flow of life. 
whatever it is, we, it's important that we stay with our flow. Absolutely. And um, how can people, what, do, do you offer any services or do you do, you know, is there any sort of coaching that you do? I, I would have asked I you do. this off air. Oh, you do, right. Just tell us what you do. Yeah. I do. Okay. So I offer, offer spiritual counseling, which is, you know, more about talking and helping you discover, you know, what it is you want to do. I do intuitive readings, um, which, where I really just go into, you know, a lot about yourself. It takes me, it takes me days to do that because I really, I have to feel what I'm feeling and sensing and see if, how that feels for the other person. So I do do that. I do read. It's, it's an intuitive reading. And then I'm beginning to offer sound and color healing which I feel is a great way to tune up, to get the chakras, you know, flowing and get the energy moving within yourself. And, and so I offer that as well. Okay. And your website is? Joyjourneyofyou.com. Excellent. Well, we've been putting that website so, on. J-O-Y, joy of O. You, why? So joyjourneyofyou.com. Excellent. So we've been putting that website throughout the interview on the screen and also your latest book. And just before you go, I've really appreciated having you on. It's been so interesting, actually. Um, uh, what would you say is an important message of your work? To, to love yourself and to come from your compassionate heart. And be who you are on a daily basis, because who you are is wonderful. That's so, so true. Excellent. Well, look, um, Jody Hershey, just thank you so, so much for coming on and for, for your wise words and uh, uh, for this book that hopefully will go out there and, uh, you know, make and bring some transformational change to the people that it, 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 you know, it, it needs to. So thank you. Thank you so much, Kevin. I really enjoyed our talk too today. Well, we've come to an end on tonight's show. Don't forget that you can listen and watch all our past interviews on the More Show's official YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for new daily shows. You may also find out more on all past and upcoming guests on the show via themoreshow.com and do like us on Facebook and Twitter for the latest updates. So until next time, be safe.